One more time, please. Welcome. Welcome to the 2018 Mongol Rally. Yeah! Go back. Go, go, go. Get in your cars. Leave, leave.
all about you just find stuff on the road and it becomes one of the car. <laughs> all right, see you guys soon. So this is um, day two of our glorious journey to the stands and to Mongolia and we've um, ventured out of Slovakia and we're, we ventured Hungary. Um, just like we're venturing out of this tunnel right now. Um, Eric's been particularly unhappy with the amount of traffic we've been encountering, but um, I think it has something to do with the fact that we end up, sh end up showing up to the the financial centers of Eastern Europe at 5 p.m. Right when they're about to. Oh, we've got a stall on camera. Look at that, folks. Look at that. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often. That's it's a rare occasion. <laughs> that's, that's, why we, uh, that's why we celebrate it. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's yeah, a rare so occurrence, like an eclipse. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we just came out of a tunnel. We're driving towards a bridge which looks pretty old and rickety and oh look at that there's another Ford Focus in front of us how serendipitous it's great it's beautiful oh yeah sorry <laughs> forget that forget what I said um, cool something cool up there um, so hot back here Budapest. Okay. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Here we go again. Back on the road. Romance TV. On our Romance way from, TV, that's right. You heard it here first. Romance TV on our way from Hungary to Romania. We spent the night in Budapest. When we were um, thinking about where to go, and Eric said, we gotta go to Budapest, which is in Hungary. I was like, Hungary? Is that a country? <laughs> uh, boy, are we surprised? Came in what time? 7 p.m.? Yeah, we got in at 7 and we searched for a little bit of time driving in because there was lots of traffic heading in. Yeah? Yeah. Was that in the hostel? There was a particular tunnel that Eric hated. He called it, and I go, the worst tunnel in the world, or the tunnel I hate the most in the world, is what he said. Yeah. We did a, we had a nice, nice supper, nice dinner. Uh, very good, very good. Supper was uh, recommended by Zoltan. Uh, he told us to go to this place called the Bok Restaurant or the Bok Bistro. Um, I had the odd sheet eggs of it. We had some sort of tender beef tenderloin, Hungarian style. All good, all good, yeah. And then uh, we went on to explore the, the city, which was uh, like the gentleman next to me, stunning. And uh, it got more beautiful the later night gets. Yeah. The more drinks you have, the better I look, is exactly what you're trying to say. Exactly. And uh, we call it an early night though, no late night party. Um, this morning at 6.30, we got woken up by an angel, personified by our very own Eric Haxrom, <laughs> who brought us coffee to our beds. Yeah, this was next level service. I mean, I hadn't even gotten up yet. My alarm on my watch was just starting to vibrate. Haxrom here shows up, or oh, hang on here. Clutch here, his new nickname is Clutch by the So Clutch here shows up and um, brings us all coffee in bed. And he was kind enough to leave it on his table for me while I you know, went and showered and spent some time here. So he, 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 he. I appreciate Simon calling me an angel when I look more like the LZ. <laughs> Alrighty, so now we're off to Oradea, meeting our very own Lisa Krayum from London Business School for a little lunch break. We're heading off for some bad lights. Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna go see this um, see this small city over there, and then afterwards we're gonna head to the Grand Strike Rasen, which is been, which has been named the best highway in the world or the most scenic highway in the world by our friends at Dumb Year, Kevin Clarkson and Richard Kremlin and the other guy forget his name. But, but yeah, it should be great. We're, we thought about camping next to it, but then we found out that there's bears near the campsite. And they actually attack people. Buttons are used to feed people feeding them. So, not a good idea. What we're going to be doing instead is we're going to be staying at a hotel which Eric found. Or, um, we haven't looked at it yet. Yeah. Possibly staying there. But yeah, that's, uh, we'll bring you more updates once we get there. Yeah. Catch you later. Bye. Talk to you later. I'll tell you about my, uh, 
Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. I almost forgot. So, yesterday we were up at this um, monument thing here, Bratislava, it's like Citadel, and you go up there, beautiful lookout. So, as we're up there, um, Simon sensed a little bit of rain, so he just quickly scooted down the steps and gave it to the car. Eric and I were trying to spot this building, which is an upside down um, pyramid of some sort. It's a radio television. Yeah, it's like a radio television building where they shot this movie Red Sparrow starring Jennifer Lawrence. Anyway, um, so as we're at the, looking at the building, the rain starts coming up real hard. Eric and I decide running back is the best way to go. Um, so we both made it 99% of the way back, except on the last step. Eric just yeah, I'm looking at him from behind, he just goes from being fully vertical to fully horizontal. I don't know how that happened. Boom. So smooth. Cool. Yeah, fell over, it looked very beautiful. And Simon missed the video recording by 0.01 second because as he pressed the button before Eric was about to fall, because he just went again, just running. But he missed it. But there was a great video of Eric being flat on the ground and he's slowly approaching him and just poking him and being like, Yeah, right, dude? So, yeah. Are you okay, bro, man? I know okay, bro, I Alright, so we'll bring you more uh, once we get to either over there with our friend Lisa or when we get to the Trans Vagarasa, which is in yeah, Romania. In Romania? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So quick um, addition to our little journal here. We're going um, bear hunting. Yeah. So there's this um, castle up on top of that hill. We call it the Romanian Chinese Wall. We were going to go up there. Uh, apparently you can hike up there. It's a nice little hike. But then a nice Romanian gentleman warned us that um, there were bear spottings nearby. So they closed it. So they basically closed off the road because it's no longer safe for tourists to go because of the bears. But so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my drone to find the bear. Yeah. We're gonna go kill that bear with a Swiss Army knife. Yeah. And that's dinner tonight. Yeah. Whoever kills the bear first doesn't get to drive today. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.